welcome back now we are going to learn the last measure of central tendency that is mood again just like your median this is also very easy just based on the one formula you have to do nothing in this case but in mode it is the modal class like we saw in the median that the median class we selected by n by 2 in this case we have to take the maximum frequency so the modes are morely concentrating on the maximum frequency maximum occurrence so let us see the formula and then let us see how to find out the mode for the group distribution okay so let us see first the formula for the mode L plus fm minus f1 upon 2 fm minus f1 minus f2 into h so the formula for mode is L plus fm minus f1 upon 2 fm minus f1 minus f2 multiplied by h let us see some solved examples so that we can understand this mode in better ways okay let us take first example following table shows frequency distribution of number of trees planted by students in the school so number of trees planted number of trees planted are given and students are given number of trees planted are 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 number of trees planted are in this class the figure they are given number of students they are given 30 70 100 70 and 40 now in this case you don't even have to find out the cumulative frequency no calculations are required in this no tedious additions or multiplication just like in mean or in median what you have to do here simply find out which is the maximum frequency this in this case this is the maximum frequency so this class is called as the modal class okay and now we will just substitute the values what are the values we want we want L that is the lower limit L is the lower limit of the modal class so this is the lower limit of the modal class 20 then we want FM FM is the frequency related to modal class that means this is FM now F1 and F2 F1 is the frequency of the pre modal class that means just above here in this case it is 70 and F2 is the frequency of post modal class that means just below next next value of frequency here in this case both are 70 and h is same as class width you remember this so in this case h is equal to 10 now you have to just substitute here so the mode is equal to 20 plus 100 minus 70 upon 2 fm means 200 minus 70 minus 70 multiply by 10 very simple okay just now arithmetic is remaining pause your video here and find out the answer quickly do it now the answer is 25 trees 
so the modal number of trees planted are 25 example over very simple so I don't think we require any more examples in this this is so simple I'm again explaining this check what is the class then frequency is given okay mark the class with the maximum frequency which is called as the modal class L is a lower frequency of the modal class FM is the frequency of modal class F1 frequency of the pre-modal class that is the one step above F2 is the post-modal class frequency H is the class difference and then substitute everything in this formula and you will get the mode now do you remember this example the wages were given we saw this example in case of median right now in case of mode you know how to solve just one change here is this is inclusive type we have to make it exclusive right the groups the class intervals are not continuous you have to first make it continuous and then solve the example in this case the difference is one so here it will be 79.5 to 84.5 84.5 to 89.5 and so on and then you have to mark the maximum frequency model class the model class will be the class with the maximum frequency and in that case the L suppose this is the model class then the L will be the modified modified class L will be the lower limit of the modified class and rest of the example is exactly similar to the previous example you have to just substitute in the formula I'm not going to show this we are directly go and see the merits and demerits of the modal class so there is no need of solving more examples on mode because it is very simple just substitution of the values in one single formula the only efforts you have to take that is find out the class with the maximum frequency now if the classes are not continuous then first make them continuous and then proceed so let us see what are the merits and demerits of the mode merits again it is very easy to understand very easy to calculate it is not affected by the extreme values they are just like same as your median in case of ungrouped data it it can be determined by just simple inspection ungrouped data i say not group data okay in group in case of group data you have to do the calculation and find the value then it can be determined graphically also now in case of median also i told you that it can be determined graphically here also i am telling you it can be determined graphically how to find out graphically that we are going to see that in the next chapter that is statistics 2 here we are just concentrating on the merits and demerits of the mode of course when there are some pros there are some cons what are the cons of the mode it is not based on all the observation as you saw we have just found out the maximum frequency and we concentrated on that class only we are not considered all the observations then further mathematical treatment is not possible then it is not unique then it may not exist and the last is it cannot be determined in case of group frequency distribution if the modal class is at the end of distribution that means f2 value will not be there if it is a last value f2 value will not be there if it is a first value f1 value will not be there in that case how will you find out the mode when f1 or f2 are not present so these are some of the limitations of the mode now we are going to solve the exercises so friends we have learned this topic thoroughly we have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hots 
some paper solutions, everything we are going to solve. For further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.